The system of segregation was a bitter pill. We were informed that Reverend King had been taken down to Reedsville at 4.05 this morning. We prepared a writ of habeas corpus which we uh, plan to submit this morning at 8 o'clock. However, when we called at 8 for the purpose of ascertaining the whereabouts of the sheriff for making service, uh, we were informed that Reverend King had been taken down to Reedsville at 4.05 this morning. After representing King before the Georgia Court of Appeals, Hollowell chartered a plane to Reedsville to pick up his client, eight days after police jailed him in Atlanta. Dr. King would not have been released unless there was some legal action taken to release him. And the legal action that was taken to release him was a habeas corpus petition that Horace Ward and Don Hollowell prepared and fought. It was Horace Ward uh, and Don Hollowell who were driving up and down the roadway uh, of Georgia going back and forth from Atlanta to Reedsville. In protest of the Jim Crow practices among Atlanta's white businesses, Atlanta student movement leaders staged mass sit-ins at local department stores. On October 19, 1960, veteran civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King joined the demonstration, and he was among the over 50 demonstrators arrested, including SNCC leaders and five student body presidents from the Atlanta University complex. One of them was Julian Bond. I had been chosen out of the group arrested at Atlanta City Hall to be tried for my group. I'm standing between these two men whom I meet for the first time in my life, Donald Hollowell on my right, A.T. Walden on my left, and I really don't understand what's happening. It's the first time I've ever been in court. And there's some back and forth between these two men and the judge. And the judge says to me, how do you plead? Well, I, I was stunned. How do I plead? I didn't know what to do. I turned to look at Colonel Walden, who was the older of these two men, and he was engaged in a conversation with the bailiff. So I couldn't get an answer there. I turned to Don Hollowell, and he said in this stage whisper, I'm sure it could be heard throughout the whole classroom, he said, not guilty, you fool. <laughs> and I said, not guilty. <laughs> 